Hello and welcome back to Radio Oddity's YouTube channel. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at how to tune the Alinco DR135 UK 10 meter high frequency receiver. It's also known as the Cree 8900. So the reason that I'm doing this video today is because there's not a lot of information out there on how to do this. There's a lot of questions on forums where people have uh, come across stumbling blocks, they don't know why they keep getting error messages on the software. So I'll go through a step-by-step -step guide on what you need to do. I'll show you on the screen, I'll show you the error messages that you're getting and I'll show you how you can get around it and also what to do with the radio itself. So the first bit of kit that you're going to need is obviously your radio and the second bit is your connector. So basically it's a USB port into your laptop or your computer and it plugs just into the back of the radio here. So a lot of the problems that people have been facing when they come to tune the radio is that it actually has two settings. You can have 25 megahertz to I think it's 28.3 which is known as the wide band or you can have the amateur 10 meter band which is 28 megahertz to 29.7. So when I bought this radio, I think they're all set to the amateur radio band, the 10 meter band, 28 meg to 29.7. And I will post a link to the software that you need to download to carry this out. So once you've downloaded the software onto your computer, you come across this screen. So let's take a look. <clears throat> now... The error message that people keep getting, so as you can see on the top there, it's 28 to 29.7 megahertz tune. So if you're wanting to say, for instance, I want to tune the UK CB band onto this radio, type in the frequency that you desire and you click on there, write to radio. And you'll be faced with this error message, frequency is out of range. Now, what you need to do, no, we don't wish to continue. You need to click on here. 25.615 to 30.105 megahertz. All data will be cleared. So I'm not actually going to do this. But once you type in all the frequencies that you want. And you click right to radio. It's going to give you the same error message again. The reason it does this is because you haven't widebanded the radio. So I'm going to show you how you can wideband the radio. Now you don't actually need the software cable for this, but if you're wanting to customise your own frequency channels, um, the other Alinco that I have right there, which I haven't got set up at the moment, I think has UK40 on it, the American 40, um, and it's got some other portions of the 10 meter band as well. So what you need to be doing to wideband your radio is this little function button here you need to hold that and the emergency button EMG you need to hold that and then you need to turn your radio on here so I don't have enough hands to do this but basically you're going to hold these two buttons in and turn the radio on and then you're going to be faced with two options on screen here so let me see if I can just do this yeah so band 1 is your 10 meter amateur band, 28 meg to 29.7. This is the reason why you get the error messages on the computer screen saying that frequencies are out of range. So what you need to be doing is, once you've on this screen, change it to band 2. And then turn off your radio. And that's widebanding your radio. Now I'm not going to do anything on this screen here because it's already tuned to what I want to do and I don't want to be typing in all my frequencies again. So once you've widebanded your radio with that button, that's when you can click on your second option here on the software, 25.615 to 30.105. And then you can type in all your different frequencies that you want there. And obviously... Here is where you choose your different bands and then you choose your emergency channel as well. So your bands A, B, C, D, E, F correspond to what's on your radio there. 
So say for instance, band A you want the UK 40, band B you want the American 40, band C you want EU, SEPT, whatever. You might want 27.555 if you're doing some DX work on there as well. And that is how you tune the Alinco DR135 or the Cree 8900. So a lot of people have been getting the error messages and this is the way to get around it. Like I say, you don't need this cable to wideband the radio. You only need the cable and the software if you're wanting to personalise what frequencies are on what band. That simple step that I showed you where you click function button and emergency at the same time and turn the radio on. There's two settings, your amateur band and your wide band. Put the wide band on and channel one on band A is 25.615 and then channel 40 on band F is I think it's 30.015 something like that um, and then like I said that's wide band in your radio. So thanks for watching this video I hope it helps you out because I spend all manner of time trying to work this out and a lot a lot a lot of internet trawling to finally work out how to wideband this radio because the knowledge isn't readily out there for some reason or another and it's not in the manual either which you would think it would be um, seeing as it's a pretty important part of the radio so thanks for watching the video I hope you're staying safe during the coronavirus lockdown um, I will be posting more videos soon so keep an eye out for those and thank you and please make sure you like share and subscribe